I'm Martin. What's up? Um, just about to get up right now, practice some exercise and calisthenics at the gym. Um, I go to the American. I just walk. It alleviates stress. I see. I feel that. Do I love mm. your videos? Thank videos. you. Your videos are golden, bro. It's funny you said I got all these people like, I love your videos. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm a, other people like, I think you got mental health problems. Yeah, no, people, people are all over the place in this time and age. Right? People don't know what to believe or think. Honestly, though. Yeah. yeah. It's it's bad. Our country's in such a state of disarray. Mm -hmm. Our, it's so just horrible. <laughs> we just, no, but... Have, yeah, oh, my truthfully, gosh. Truthfully, I, I've got a lot of hope for the future of humanity. You know? Well, I, I mean, I do, too. I put out as, I try to help as much as possible. The problem is, if you try to do the right thing, it costs the people who are doing the wrong thing money. Exactly. And those people those people who are doing the wrong thing have to grease a lot of wheels to make money. So if you want to do the right thing, it's a big it's a big freaking deal. Like I got I I got a job through Catholic community services. Mm -hmm. A building next to a freaking courthouse. Next to a courthouse. Mm -hmm. Not a little courthouse, mind you. I got a job at Catholic a building next to the courthouse to take care of sex trafficked women and children. And then uh, then to do the job, like you go report it if they talk to you, like why are you giving them to me? They're like, you don't speak, the kids will trust you. You'll get information other people, other adults won't get. So this is interesting, like you guys are on here, like we love your videos, like that's interesting. I got chosen to do my job with kids because kids like the way I, I, I interact with them too and they tell me things. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, you figure out who's trafficking them, who's, who's muling them over here. If you, any of that stuff, you sign, I signed a federal document <laughs> the, from the Department of Defense and, uh, you know, all this stuff. Like, if they say anything, like, Bob brought them over here from this, you have to report it. It's, you're legally obligated, right? It's like, I start, it's, okay, so I start reporting stuff. And they start offering me money, business deals, off of the stuff in my background check. So they gathered information during my background check. And I would go and act like, hey, man, this shit is not to the up and up. And literally, because I have lots of I pay attention. Like a week later, somebody would show like, hey, man, you want to do some shit with this roofing company? It's $25,000. And I just ignore it because I don't really need that shit. You know what I mean? I didn't pay attention to the details. I report something else. Somebody else would show and be like, hey, man, we got this deal. This is these pills. You probably make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And, you know, I start paying this like every freaking time, and then they still like. Then they just showed up to my house. It was like, here's a check. <laughs> Want a check? And I'm just like, you, you hired you hired me to to report this stuff, not to take a check. Like in the rules, like this is now. People will offer you money. Your job is to just say no and report that. So it's like I'm saying no and I'm reporting because I thought it was a test, right? Yeah. <laughs> I say no and I'm reported. And then it turned out it wasn't a test. It was just that's how many people before me had taken the bribes. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, it turned I thought it was a test. Because I'm like everything's an assessment. My wife was just talking about um testing and things like that with, with the with the Catholic communities. I thought it was a test. Because they would offer you a lot of money. They go oh, and women, children, drugs, they offer you everything. They 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 even like I reported 
the sex trafficking through Catholic community services, and military men brought prostitutes to my house. Oh, my goodness. Like, you don't even have to pay for them. The Catholic Church, the military and the Catholic, they brought prostitutes to my house. You don't even have to pay for them. Jeez. So I wouldn't report it. So I wouldn't, just a, so I wouldn't report crime. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I thought, I, I'm just like, and the whole time I keep thinking, this has just got to be a test. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this has to be a test. And then, they, like, everybody's involved. Like, there's so many people were involved. I'm like, at some point, I'm like, this isn't a test. <laughs> this isn't a test. Yeah, no, I get that. That's crazy. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I was like, at some point, I was like, uh, this ain't a test. That's a bit. That's a bit far out there. Like, that's that's. Really yeah. Far. What's it's crazy sure. is the worst part is people weren't talking to each other. If this makes sense, so you get yeah. a, you know that kind of corruption only can exist in in a very dysfunctional organization, mm -hmm. right? That has no organization, right? So this is how interesting it was. I got a background check, and they literally said, "Mark, because I'm dependent on technology to recover from injuries, to communicate sometimes." I only communicated through social media on the internet to the police. And that's how I got my stuff. Like I, on the internet, I was like, ding, 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 ding. I called, look, I called the NSA, the CIA, the department of defense, the Marines, the air force, all, all these places. I, when I was, I just sent out information everywhere. That's how I got working. Right. Cause I just asked them, Hey, this is what I can do. Give me a, give me a job or, see, or ask me to do something and I'll see if I can do it. They're like, what? I'm like, I got autism and I just want to see what I can do. And they were like, okay, and look, I was pumping information all over. And then they gave me a job doing that. You know what I mean? See, yeah. They gave me a, they gave me a job. They gave me a job doing it. And then they were like, I start, so I start finding the stuff like, you know, reporting the things. And they're like, checks, checks. I'm like, I want the checks. Like I took the job. I thought they were having me do the job to fix the problems. Mm. Not to make, not, not to get, not to grease the wheels. I see. Yeah. I thought they were giving me the, the job to, to fix the problems, not grease the wheels. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of saying you know, Oh, it was crazy. They publicly, though, the military, they brought prostitutes to my house for men to partake in the cover-up of the extortion for Catholic community services. So, like, the people who were involved in the extortion for Catholic community services part or covering that up got to partake in drugs and um, the flesh of people against their will at my house. And they, like... People documented it. <laughs> That's wild as fuck, man. Yeah. It's so nuts. I'm glad you got very strong morals, because, too. <laughs> That's, That's why right, it's just... Yeah. But no, it's like, yeah, my... from what I've seen, it's kind of like, um, you know, it sometimes perceives that the, the dark is working harder than the light in this day and age. But I, what I've seen is like, <laughs> A lot of the darkness is at the physical level. We can see it more than what the light's doing, but dude, there's so much shit that's behind the scenes that's kind of in the unseen world that the light is doing in this time. That um, That's so the light needs your guys' help, man. Yeah. I'm not joking. You know how fucking crazy it is? I got this job, like I was talking about, for Catholic Community Services, streaming stuff, teaching it. Like if you were one of my kids, I'm like, okay, look, you're going to set up a camera here. You're going to, this is how a motion sensor goes off. You can use a garage door sensor, a nine volt battery. Literally, I was like, you get a garage door sensor, a nine volt battery. It's a $5 trip wire right here. $5 trip wire. You run through here. You stop right here. It's going to record whoever's face. And then you take off, right? You can get their face. They don't even know you got their face. They're going to turn around and look which way you went. Like I set it all up. Like this is what I'm going to teach these kids. So we do it. And literally, this is like a, group of children they watch in the military just circle my house like that like in Sodom and Gomorrah literally it was like I was like a, and I'm just I'm thinking like they set this shit up so that those people could have counterintelligence on the military because they did it more than one time <laughs> literally they just kept doing it it's nuts they surround my house like demons <sighs> and they bring in children here and women for prostitution and like I'm like I'm working for Catholic community services so they have people watching me you see what I'm saying? I'm working for Catholic community service. So Catholic community service church is watching this shit unfold. They're just watching it unfold over and over. All these kids, all these women, all these, oh my, they're just watching it unfold. And they just keep giving me money. Like, here's how, uh, they, they, how much money can we give you? 
I'm like, why don't you just report the crimes you guys are watching? Like, you gave me a job to report the crimes. Let's report the crimes. Jeez. That's yeah, a- I was like, I see you. Oh, yeah, man. And they just, like, yeah. And because there's, like, um, older retired veterans and stuff, they bring the young, young kids. Young kids. They, yeah. And they get them. Then we can't win no wars. That's why I can't win a war. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I did, like, I don't think so, man, because they got away. Every, they get away every time. I'm just like, you, and then I say, I talk about, I think it was a setup. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It feels like it was a setup. <laughs> yeah. I got set up. That makes sense. Anyways. I get it. Yeah. You got any, um, you got any advice for people who, um, what was I, I going to say? Fuck, fuck, I forgot. But, no, Martin, bro. I really, I really dig what you do, bro. You seem, you seem like a really, really good dude, and I, I appreciate your videos a lot. I appreciate your guys' support. Yeah, bro. We all, we all love you, even if it's not shown. Sometimes we, we love and support you, Martin. I appreciate your guys' support. Of course. Well, I'm gonna let you go. Get that workout going. All right. Much I love you. You're very <laughs> handsome, Martin. <laughs> You're crazy. That's crazy. Rust. Let's start swinging. Let's start swinging. How you doing, Hi, sir? Martin. What can I do for you? It was just interesting hearing you talk about um you know, what the CIA and Department of Defense has been doing to you, like, you know, behind all of society's back, basically, for, for all this time. And it's uh, it's just interesting to hear you talk about all that because of um, because how, how good they always portray themselves to be, like the government and the military. And it's just, um, it's interesting hearing you talk about how, you know, they were sending prostitutes to your house to, um, you know, do illegal work on the government's behalf. The military, they brought them for the men in my neighborhood to pass around so they wouldn't report the crimes that I was supposed to report for Catholic community services. Yeah, that's crazy. So then I'm then, then like, like I'm going to get in trouble for speaking about it. And I said, so, well, you know, here's the, here's the hard part. If I don't speak up about it, more children will go to that building, right? More children will go through that service, Catholic community services. Mm-hmm. There'll be more victims. So that's where I'm at. That, that, that's where I'm at so, right so now. That's where I'm at right now. What's that? Me be the victim so that uh-huh. future children don't have to be or allow those future children to be victims because no one cares. But my wife just called, so I got to go. Okay. That sounds good, Barn. Take care, brother. God bless. Hey, real base shit forever, bro. Bay Area, West Coast. <laughs>